What is physical therapy and why should a myeloma patient consider it? Hi, my name is Beth Travis and I'm a physical therapist. Physical therapy is a discipline that falls under the category of rehabilitation medicine. The basic goal of physical therapy is to improve the patient's ability to move, reduce pain, restore function, and prevent disability. And I think it should be part of every myeloma patient's journey. What does a physical therapist do? And what we do is we help individuals develop, maintain, and restore maximum body movement and physical function. So what that means is we want to be there for you after you've had an injury or a disease to help you recover, relieve your pain, and prevent further injury. Or perhaps in the case of multiple myeloma, deal with a chronic condition. You can get physical therapy at any age or stage of your life. And typically the tools we would use in physical therapy would include exercise, hands-on care, modalities, and patient education. Why would a myeloma patient consider physical therapy? I'd say most important for a myeloma patient is we use physical therapy to improve the quality of your life. We want to improve your function, reduce your pain, and make sure that you don't become disabled by maintaining your fitness level. What is an individualized assessment? An individualized assessment is especially important in myeloma patients because of the lesions that occur. Every myeloma patient's different. So what we like to do in physical therapy is first listen and find out about your myeloma journey. And then we wanna incorporate additional information like your lab tests and your imaging get an extensive past medical history. And then we wanna put you through um, an initial evaluation where we look at your physical function, things like range of motion, strength, sensation, coordination. And then we wanna combine that with further assessment, looking at your functional ability. Can you roll around in bed? Can you stand up, walk, run, jump? So those are the type of things that we look at. And when we're done with that, we put it all together and develop a plan of care. In physical therapy, an initial evaluation, you should set aside about an hour of time because it is a lengthy exam. Typically, we like to see our patients for about four weeks and then reassess. Now, during those four weeks with the treatments, you're going to be coming to physical therapy, but you're also going to be doing a home exercise program. We reevaluate at four weeks and we can reduce the frequency, which can start off with two to three times a week. But as you get better and more independent in your program, it can be reduced to once or twice a week. And as you move forward, you can also get a reassessment anywhere along the way just to see how you're progressing or if you're having any problems. And a lot of times with myeloma patients, there are individual nuances and we'll need to address them as we go. And we'd like to be there for you. What is a plan of care? Typically, a plan of care is developed based on the data that we've collected. So we utilize typically flexibility to get motion, strengthening to get more power, uh, we'll use different forms of strengthening. It could be open chain or closed chain. Open chain exercises are exercises that are performed where the hand or foot is free to move. Closed chain exercises are physical exercises performed where the hand or foot is fixed. Sometimes with myeloma patients, closed chain is better than open chain because open chain involves lifting weights, whereas closed chain uses things like squats and push-ups, which at times can be safer for myeloma patients. Then we'll progress to aerobic training because we want to reduce your fatigue by improving your general fitness. We use a lot of modalities in physical therapy, heat, cold, electric, 
water therapy is wonderful, especially for myeloma patients, because what it does is it helps reduce the weight bearing forces on the body. So it's a great way to get started. Who benefits from physical therapy? Just about everybody will benefit from physical therapy. There are a couple of contraindications. For example, if you had a fracture of a long bone or some spinal cord compression, we would probably not treat you for physical therapy at that time or have a more in-depth conversation with your physician. Typically, we have a lot of special concerns with multiple myeloma patients, especially with bony lesions. How is my spine protected? Multiple myeloma patients are often at risk for a spinal fracture. So what we wanna do is stick with the concept of neutral spine where we maintain spinal position more in the middle, not forward bent or flexed, or too extended or bent backwards. Those type of positionings during exercise safeguard the spine. My doctor didn't recommend physical therapy. Does that mean I don't need it? We hope that your physician likes to include physical therapy, but it's always okay to ask to have it included. It is covered by most insurances, and you really want to incorporate physical therapy as part of your myeloma journey because we want to improve your health and especially improve the quality of your life. So please keep us in mind.